Uh, hey everyone, this is Amartya and welcome all of you to my channel. So here I am with a new session. So in this session, I will discuss few questions from CBSC and BRC scientific office examination uh, for physics discipline of the year 2021. So here are the questions and I will discuss the solution to the question. So this is a question from mathematical physics and the question from complex analysis and the question was asking about to find out the uh, residue of this function. So the function was like f of z is equal to 1 minus z square whole square. Uh, by 2z plus 3 whole square okay so just frame it uh, like 1 minus z square whole square by z plus 3 by 2 whole square into 4 so you can see uh, z equal to minus 3 by 2 is the pole of this uh, complex function okay and the order of pole is 2 so you have to use the formula for calculating residue as r equal to 1 minus 1 by m minus 1 factorial uh, limit uh, tends to z tends to z naught uh, d of m minus 1 by dz to the power m minus 1 of z minus z naught to the power m into f of z okay so by using this formula you can calculate the residue of this function okay so move to the next question now next question from nuclear physics and it's all about the nuclear force property uh, this is a very straightforward question so which of the following property of the nuclear force is incorrect as you know for the nuclear force uh, it is charge independent so this is a correct option radially saturated this is also correct about nuclear force a spin dependent this is also correct uh, it is central force so this statement is incorrect because nuclear force is a non-central uh, force because it contains the tensor component because total uh, uh, wave function is uh, contributed by s and d orbital s contribution is, is like 2 percent and d orbital contribution is 90 80 percent to the total particle moment so that's why nuclear force is a non not a central force it is a tensor in nature is a tensor in nature okay so this is a very straightforward question uh, the next question is from emt uh, and the question is asking about the uh, five positive charges are in symmetrically in a, a circle of radius r uh, so find out the electric field at the center so this is also a very basic question so here is a circle of uh, radius r and you have five equal positive charges are in symmetrical so this is q this is q this is q this is q and uh, one will be like symmetrically arranged so angle will be 360 by 5 uh, 7 uh, to 72 angle so i think one will be like this but the angle will be 72 for uh, each charges okay so you have to uh, use the vector uh, addition in order to find the resultant and you have to use electric field is equal to 1 by 4 pi c naught q by r square so question will be lengthy so that's why i am not calculating but the process is like uh, for each electric field you have to take the resultant okay and you have to use this formula of a basic vector like a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos of theta okay so this is a uh, important basic uh, vector formula that will be used in this case so please try it so next question is from hilbert space and the question is asking about what will the dimension of the hilbert space so what will the dimension of the hilbert space the first particle can exist in two orthonormal state so first particle can have in two orthonormal state second particle can be in uh, three orthonormal state and the fourth particle can be uh, in uh, sorry third particle can be in fourth orthonormal state so the question is very clear first particle can have uh, two orthonormal state three particle uh, second particle can have three orthonormal state and third particle can have four or four orthonormal state so what will the dimension of the hilbert space so the dimension of hilbert scale will be just a multiplication of the different orthonormal state so it will be two into three into four so it will be three into two uh, six into four twenty four so dimension will be twenty four so this is the correct answer to this question so move to the next question then there is a uh, very mathematical calculative uh, question from the lorentz force of helicomagnetic scale basically map from magnetostatic as you know uh, if a charge of q e charge q moving in a magnetic field b uh, with a velocity v and making an angle uh, theta with the magnetic field direction then the lorentz force uh, if you consider only the magnetic contribution this it will be q v b sine of theta so for the question was for electron and velocity was given 
and uh, it was mentioned that the uh, electric uh, sorry electron is moving parallelly so you have to take theta as zero so sorry it was mentioned that it is moving uh, perpendicularly and that means in a circular path so you have to take theta as 90 degree so the force will be q v b so just put the magnitude that are given in the question you will calculate the value of this Lorentz force so this is straightforward question and source question also expected because uh, limited uh, time is there so the people intentionally put some uh, calculative type of question so that you have to put some time on that calculation okay so be careful and uh, if you are calculating it uh, try to calculate quickly so move to the next question this is a very fundamental question from solid state physics so the question was all about the <coughs> electron transition so when electron jump from valency band to the conduction band in a semiconductor so this is the valency band and this is the conduction band of the semiconductor and this is the band gap of the material eg so if it is n type then the formula will be close to the valence band and it is p type then it is close to the val uh, sorry uh, if it is n type then uh, formula will be close to the conduction band if it is p type then it will close to the valence band uh, nothing else but the question was asking about what happens if a electron is moving from valence band to the conduction band in the semiconductor <coughs> the first option was like uh, energy increase so why energy will increase because band gap is definite so there is no chance of energy increase <coughs> a phonon involved no phonon involved will not be, not be there because no lattice vibration information is given in the question a photon involved this is correct because in order to uh, move the electron from the valence to the conduction band you have to insert on the electromagnetic radiation because you are talking the question was talking about the optical properties so you have to insert on the photon and during the lower transition you also expecting some emissions which is also photon so i think this is uh, this answer will the uh, this option will be the most appropriate in this question okay <clears throat> so the next question from the mathematical physics and it is from matrix so the matrix was a equal to 1 2 2 3 and you have to calculate a square as uh, so this is simple no problem uh, so this is simple and also a square and a a t and t a t and a also there so in that particular question they have asked to calculate both a square and a transpose multiplied with a so uh, see this question is not doing this solving this question is not a big deal okay but all it is all about the time taking so how more time you are consuming to this question this is important suppose you are spending because a square calculation and a t and a calculation will be take minimum two to three minutes so this is important of selection of question uh, during the examination of uh, particularly in BRC examination okay so thank you so much this is some of the question from a previous uh, uh, paper of the uh, BRC scientific officer of 2021 thanks for watching my video uh, thanks for support keep watching my video stay tuned with my channel thank you